And, you know, you look at the Vietnam War, and there was definitely some major advances in terms of technology, because they had now things like helicopters and better radios, and they had the beginning of night vision, and they had jets and better communication. But even with all those technological changes, the basic principles of combat remain the same. They always do. Cover and move, keep things simple, prioritize and execute, decentralize command. But in addition to those technological changes, there was differences now with the people. Obviously in Vietnam, there was a massive anti-war movement in America and around the world. And in America, a lot of the troops were draftees. Now, this is something I have to explain all the time, and I've explained it on here before, and that is that SEALs and soldiers and Marines are not robots. They're people. And even though SEALs, for instance, have always been a volunteer force, and today all the military in the U.S. is all volunteers, they're still free-thinking individuals. They're people. They're humans, and you have to lead them. But what's interesting is when you look at the leadership principles used to effectively lead troops today, it's the same leadership principles to effectively lead the draftees in Vietnam. Draftees or volunteers, conventional forces or special operators or civilian teams and companies and organization, the fundamental leadership principles used to actually lead, they do not change at their core. And there's a great example of this. And again, we're going back to a guy by the name of Colonel David Hackworth who wrote about face. We've talked about him before in this podcast. That book is, it's actually my favorite book of any category. But definitely within the realm of combat and combat leadership, About Face by David Hackworth, Colonel David Hackworth is at the top of my list. But he actually went into even more detail about one particular episode of his career. And that was when he took over a battalion in Vietnam that was in pretty rough shape. And he wrote about that particular experience in more detail in a book called Steal My Soldier's Hearts. And it is about the, the subtitle is The Hopeless to Hardcore Transformation of U.S. Army 4th Battalion, 39th Infantry in Vietnam. And let's go ahead and jump on in.